Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this video I will not make uh, any sound, uh, anything uh, in particular that has to do with trends. Uh, I will just talk about the file browser and also about um, how you can put your files and samples here and about MIDI files because many people uh, ask me things about MIDI files uh, also how to import them and stuff like that okay um, many questions uh, many people ask me about how do I put my my samples here you see I have uh, I have uh, folders with samples here and uh, people ask me how do I put them here okay uh, this is very easy to do uh, you just have to go in, uh, into the folder where you installed your FL Studio and in this folder that uh, you see here uh, called data uh, let me put this up a bit uh, enter here and inside the the patches folder uh, every all these folders that you see here are the same ones that you see on the file browser okay so what I made is I made a folder with my name and I have here the a few samples that I use um, and also samples that I downloaded from internet uh, for example this one and inside the scores I also have a folder with only the MIDI files and a few other folders that I that I created here okay so e every everything you create here all the folders that you put in here uh, will appear here on on this file browser okay and it's it's good to uh, to put a name to those folders uh, that starts with a uh, or something like that because it will appear on top and it will be easier for you uh, because you will not have to to look for them here and to find them okay and you can customize this uh, this file browser you can make the the text uh, bigger here on just click this uh, little arrow here and also you can find uh, samples if you have a, a a lot of samples you can uh, search samples here just type uh, click find or smart find and type the name of it or part of the name and it will find uh, that sample also you can adjust the size of the text and if you want those uh, little folder icons I I don't like them so I took them off and about the MIDI files now because many people ask me uh, how to import them and how do they work because uh, they don't make any sound and people I don't know why still ask me why they don't make any sound well I have here inside the scores uh, these are uh, scores that I saved from my songs but I have here uh, um, folder with only with MIDI files and if I drag one here see how easy it is if I have it on file on the file browser I don't have to open the piano roll and click here and file and import MIDI file that's very complicated and time consuming so it's good to have them here just uh, click and drag and you have you have it on the on the piano roll but if I click play uh, obviously it's not playing any sound because MIDI files don't make any sound by themselves uh, unless you play it on a on a player like Winamp or other players that support MIDI files they will make a, a basic uh, basic sound but here on the piano roll they are not making any sound unless you assign uh, an instrument and as you can see as soon as I put this 3x oscillator He's making a uh, he's making a sound of, and here I can add uh, another instrument if I want. For example, the FL keys, not this one. Okay, so you need an instrument in order to play those MIDI files. But sometimes, even if you put an instrument, uh, that MIDI still does make any sound, and there are two reasons. Um, one is that the MIDI file is corrupted or it 
was not exported well uh, it has some kind of error or something like that and the other one is because the uh, the velocities are are to zero or they are too low okay that you don't it makes the sound but you don't hear it because the volume is too low so in order to to solve that you can uh, uh, save this as a as a score file and probably that way uh, the problem is solved because sometimes I don't know why they just don't play any sound so try to uh, save it as a score file and to do that uh, just uh, click this arrow here on the piano roll and choose file save score as and here just uh, if you want you can create another folder or inside the scores folder give it a name and save it and after that uh, you watch for that name that you saved here on the list and uh, put it back on the piano roll and maybe that way it will play but it's not guaranteed okay so well uh, that's pretty much uh, all that I had to say about the file browser so go ahead and put your samples here because it's a lot faster to work from here than having to import them and also uh, if you have them for example in your uh, in your desktop uh, you can delete them by accident and when you will open the project again later uh, you will it will ask you for the samples okay so if you put them there on the patches folder and from there it's uh, it's a bit more difficult to delete them by by accident okay well this um, I guess this is everything that I wanted to say uh, I'll see you on the on the next tutorial